Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our first lesson on Advent Form 4, mathematics topic called differentiation. Now remember that differentiation is falling under a larger topic uh, which is called calculus. Under calculus we shall have three uh, topics. One is what we call differentiation, the second one is what we call integration, and lastly the third one is what we call uh, area approximation. So let's start with differentiation. So differentiation uh, is basically uh, the process of finding the gradient function from a given equation. We can also uh, define differentiation as the process of finding uh, a derived function from a given equation. Thirdly, we can say that differentiation is the process of finding the derivative from a given uh, equation. In most cases, the derivative uh, we usually take the first variable uh, divided by the second variable. For example, if the equation is in the form of y is equals to, uh, let's say uh, 3x maybe plus 4, therefore the two variables are uh, the y and the x. Therefore, to find uh, the gradient function or the derived function or the derivative, we take the change in the first variable uh, y divided by the change in the second variable, let's say uh, x. Let's say the equation was in the form of, uh, let's say uh, the velocity v was equal to uh, maybe uh, 40 uh, squared, maybe plus uh, 2t, maybe plus 1. Therefore, the variables in this case are v and t. Therefore, in this case, to find the uh, gradient function or the derived function or simply the derivative, we will have taken the change in the first variable, which is v, divided by the change in the second variable, uh, which is uh, t. Remember, the change uh, is denoted by a small uh, d. Therefore, that is what we call to uh, differentiate, or simply to find the gradient function, or uh, to find uh, the derived function, or simply to find the uh, derivative. So the first aspect that we look at under differentiation is what we call the uh, gradient uh, function. So generally, if you have an equation in the form of y is equals to uh, ax, uh, then of course to the power of n, such that uh, the variables are uh, the y and the x, then of course uh, a is a coefficient of x, which is a constant, and of course n, is a power to the x therefore in this particular case if you want to get the gradient function so you can say the gradient uh, function the gradient uh, function which is also called uh, the derived function uh, the derived uh, function the derived function which we are also calling uh, the derivative uh, the derivative uh, will be given by the following. So to find the derivative or the derived function, we take the first derivative, that is the first variable, which is, uh, we take the change of values in the first variable, uh, divided by the change in values of the second uh, variable. So I'm taking the y and the x to be the variables in this uh, case. Therefore, the gradient function or the derived function or the derivative will be given by uh, dy dx, or change of values in the y, divided by the change of values in the x. Therefore, to differentiate or to find the gradient function, uh, the first step is we usually pre-multiply uh, the power with the uh, coefficient. Therefore, we'll be talking of uh, n, we'll have n a x to the power of n. Then after that, we usually subtract one uh, from the power. Therefore, uh, we're going to subtract 1 uh, from the power. Therefore, to differentiate, you pre-multiply uh, the coefficient of x uh, with the power, then you subtract 1 from the power, such that uh, dy dx or the derivative will be given by na x to the power of uh, n minus 1. So we check our first example, which is a past cases equation that was tested in the year 1993, paper 2, question number 12. It reads that, calculate the gradient of the curve y is equals to x squared minus 3x mi uh, minus 4 at the point where x is equals to a negative 1. Therefore, to find the gradient, 
we first of all need to get the uh, gradient function. So this is an equation uh, whose uh, variables are y and x. Therefore, to find the gradient function, uh, we are going to take uh, the change of values in y divided by the change of values in x, which will be equal to, now remember the first term is x to the power of uh, 2. We've said that to differentiate, you pre-multiply uh, the power with the coefficient of x. Therefore, you're going to have 2 x to the power of, then you subtract 1 from the power. So the power was 2, therefore we subtract 1 from it. Then uh, whenever a number is written as uh, x, it means that the power was 1. Therefore, uh, we'll have negative 3. Then, of course, we pre-multiply with the power, which was 1. Then x to the power of, this was power 1. Then, of course, we subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then remember, if a number is written without the variable, it means that uh, the variable was to the power of 0. Because remember from the loss of indices, a to the power of 0, the answer is 1. Therefore, if we are having a number like 4, it means that it was uh, multiplied by x power 0. So that uh, the negative 4 is the same as saying negative 4, x power 0. Then you are saying that a number to the power of 0 is 1. So this is uh, 1. So it means that we had negative 4 multiplied by 1, uh, which will still give you negative 4. That is why there was no need of adding an x power 0 in this case. Therefore, to differentiate a constant, the answer will always give you 0. Because, for example, in this case, it will mean that we'll have negative 4. Uh, then, of course, uh, pre-multiplied with the power, which was power 0. Then, of course, x to the power of 0. Then we subtract 1 from the uh, power. So you realize that our dy dx, that is the gradient function, will be given by 2x to the power of 2 minus 1. This will give us 1. Then, of course, minus 3 times 1. This will be 3. Uh, x to the power of 1 minus 1 will give us 0. Then, of course, negative 4 times 0 times x power negative 1. Any number multiplied by 0, uh, it will give us 0. That is why we are saying that if whenever you differentiate a constant, the constant will always uh, disappear. Therefore, this will be equal to a 2x to the power of 1, which is the same as saying a 2x, then of course minus 3x power 0. We know that a number to the power of 0 is 1. Therefore, that is, is 1. Therefore, if you take negative 3 times 1, the answer will still be a negative 3. Therefore, our gradient function uh, dy dx is equal to a uh, 2x minus a uh, 3. Now, the question wanted us to get the gradient uh, at the point where x is equal to a uh, negative 1. Therefore, uh, dy dx, uh, when x is equal to a uh, negative 1, uh, that is when x uh, is equal to a uh, negative 1, will be equal to 2 into uh, x is negative 1, then of course minus 3. So this will be equal to 2 times negative 1, I'll get negative 2, then of course minus 3. So it means that our gradient uh, dy dx will be equal to uh, negative 5. Therefore, this was the gradient uh, to the curve y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4 at the point x is equal to negative 1. We check our second example, which is also a past KCC question that was tested in the year 1997, paper 1, question number 10. It reads that the curve y is equal to uh, ax cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 has the gradient uh, 7 when x is equal to 1. Find the value of a. So because we are already given the gradient, we'll start by getting the uh, gradient uh, function so that if the equation is y is equal to uh, ax uh, cubed, then minus uh, 3x squared, then minus 2x plus 1, uh, we'll get the gradient function. So because the variables are a y and of course x, we'll be talking of a dy dx, which is the gradient function, will be equal to. So of course to differentiate, we've said uh, you pre-multiply uh, the power with the coefficient of the variable. So we'll have 3ax power 3. Then, of course, we subtract 1 from the power, so minus 1. Then um, the 2, I uh, should pre-multiply our power here. Therefore, uh, we're going to have the following. We're going to have 
a negative 3 multiplied by 2, then x to the power of 2, then we subtract 1 from the power. Then of course minus 2, uh, we've said that if a number is written as x, it means the power was 1. Therefore, this will give us negative 2 uh, multiplied by 1, then of course x to the power of 1 minus 1. Then uh, the x, it means it was, that is the 1, it means it was x to the power of 0, such that x power 0 is 1, 1 times 1 will still give you 1. Therefore, uh, to differentiate this, this should pre-multiply our power, therefore this should give us a positive 1 multiplied by 0, x power 0 minus 1. So clearly we're going to end up with uh, 3, uh, 3a x to the power of 3 minus uh, 1 will give us power 2, then minus uh, negative 3 by 2, I'll get negative uh, 6 x to the power of 2 minus 1, I'll get to the power of 1. Then of course this will be minus uh, 2 times 1, I'll get 2, then x power 0. Then of course because of this 0, uh, that particular term is going to disappear. So what you need to know is that the derivative of a constant will always give you a 0. So this will um, mean that we are having 3ax uh, squared minus uh, 6x, then of course minus 2, because x power 0 will give us 1, 1 times negative 2 will give us negative 2. Now clearly this was our derivative, uh, that is dy dx. Then we are told that at the point when x is equals to a 1, the gradient is 7. Therefore, our dy dx should be equal to 7. Therefore, to get the derivative dy uh, dx at the point when uh, x is equals to 1 will be equal to a uh, 3a. So when x is 1, it means that I'm going to substitute. So this will be 1 to the power of uh, 2, then minus 6 into 1. Then of course minus 2, and uh, this should give me a uh, 7. So on working with uh, this part alone, uh, we isolate this part alone, we'll end up with a uh, 3a, of course 1 power 2 is 1, 1 times 3a, we'll still get 3a, then minus negative 6 times 1, you'll get negative 6, then minus 2 is equals to a uh, 7. So on simplification, uh, this is what we are going to end up with. So if we simplify, of course, this two will give us negative 8. So we'll have 3a uh, minus uh, 8 being equal to 7. Therefore, 3a will be equal to 7, then plus uh, 8. Therefore, 3a will be equal to uh, 7 plus 8. This will give us uh, 15. Then, of course, divide through by 3 over 3. So that means our value of a will be equal to 15 over 3, uh, this will give us a 5. Therefore, the value of a was equal to a 5. We look at our third example, which is a past cases equation that was tested in uh, 2016, paper 1, question number 10. The same question was repeated in 207, uh, paper 1, question number uh, 5. It reads that the gradient of the tangent to the curve, uh, y is equals to ax cubed uh, plus bx at the point, one negative, that is one one is negative five. Calculate the values of A and B. Therefore, to easily compute this, I'll start by substituting at uh, the coordinates that I'm given. So I'm given a point one, a one. Clearly, whenever you're given a point, the first coordinate represents the value of X, while the second coordinate represents the value of Y. Therefore, the equation Y is equals to uh, AX cubed, uh, then of course, plus BX. If I substitute the values of x and y that I'm having, uh, my y is 1, therefore this will be 1, it's equals to a into, uh, my x is also 1, so this is 1 uh, cubed, then plus b into, my x is still 1. Therefore I'll end up with 1 being equal to uh, a, then of course plus b. So this can be written as a plus b uh, is equals to 1. So I'll let this to be uh, my first equation. Now, for us to form the second equation, uh, we are going to substitute uh, in the equation for the, uh, the gradient. So we are told that the gradient uh, to the tangent of this particular curve is, at this particular point, is negative 5. So to get the gradient, we'll get the dy dx, or the gradient function, which will be equal to, so we're going to differentiate uh, this part here. So to differentiate, we pre-multiply uh, the coefficient with the power, so we'll have 3a x to the power of 
uh, 3. So we'll have 3a, uh, x to the power of 3. Then, of course, we subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then we're going to have plus. It means that this power was power 1. Therefore, we'll end up with 1 uh, multiplied by b. Uh, then, of course, x to the power of 1. Then, of course, we subtract 1 from the uh, new, that is from the power. So this will give us uh, the gradient was uh, negative uh, 5. So this one simply means that 3ax squared, then of course plus, this will be uh, b, then x power 0, this should give us negative 5. Then of course a number to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 times b, you'll end up with b. Therefore 3ax squared uh, plus b will be equal to negative 5. Then we are told at the point when, uh, at the point 1, 1. So at that particular point, clearly the value of x will be 1. The value of y will also be uh, 1. So since x is 1, I'm going to substitute it here. So I'll end up with 3a into 1 uh, squared. Then of course plus b, which should give me a negative 5. So I'll end up with 3a plus b uh, being equal to a negative 5 as my second equation. Therefore, to solve for the values of a and b, we are going to solve those two uh, simultaneous equations, that is equation 1 and 2. The easiest way of solving them is using elimination method. So equation 1 was a plus b is equals to 1. Equation 2 is uh, 3a, then of course plus b is equals to a uh, negative uh, 5. So I want to use elimination. So clearly you can see that B is common. Therefore, to eliminate B, I'll simply subtract the two equations. So A minus 3A, this will give me, uh, if you take A minus 3A, your answer will be a negative 2A. So clearly this will give me negative 2A. Then uh, B minus B, this will give me 0. So this will be plus 0 is equals to uh, 1 minus minus 5. That is 1 minus minus 5. This is the same as saying 1 minus minus will give me a positive 5, which is equal to a positive 6. So this one is equal to a positive a 6. Therefore, it means that a negative a 2a is equal to 6. I divide through by negative 2, divide through by negative 2, so that my value of a will be equal to 6 by, by negative 2. I'll get a negative 3. To solve for a, I'm going to substitute the same equation at the same value in my first equation, which was a plus b is equals to 1. Therefore, my a is negative 3, so I'll have negative 3, uh, then plus b being equal to 1. So clearly, b will be equal to 1, then plus a 3. Therefore, the value of b uh, will be equal to uh, 4. Therefore, it means that our final uh, answers or solutions will be given by, so we'll conclude and say, uh, therefore, uh, the value of a or the solutions are the value of a was equal to negative uh, 3 while the value of b was equal to 4. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.